You know, something that's really true is that many speakers, counselors, therapists, <laughs> teachers often teach what they need to learn. And so in my 36 year journey of teaching, writing and ministering to others, it was birthed out of my own need to develop my own self-esteem, confidence and self-worth. And I wish I could thank all of the people that allowed me to counsel them and life coach them and listen to their stories. It really helped me to heal my brokenness, my low self-esteem and low self-worth. And eventually I became known as the self-esteem doctor because I gathered enough history and knowledge and experiences and God's grace to understand the importance of healing your self-esteem. Because I find that so many women can express their hurt more than they can express their anger. And it's so important to learn how to express your own feelings to avoid depression and self-harming. Uh, when I'm talking with women and I can hear in their soft spoken voice, they're talking about their hurt. I realize they're not in touch with their anger or their rage. And I could really identify with that. Um, so many people have been hurt, you know, by maybe their parents or their spouse or friend or from racism. And they don't realize that their self-esteem and self-worth has been so beaten down so I want to share with you my doctor prescriptions, my self-esteem doctor prescriptions for emotional wellness. It's something that you want to repeat at least three times a day. Why? Because it is a process. It takes time to renew your mind and transform your mind. It takes time to change your perception of yourself. It takes time to change what you say to yourself when you look in the mirror. It takes time to change what you say to yourself when you feel rejected, abandoned, when you feel like a failure, when someone is playing mind games with you. And so this is my affirmation, my prescription for you. I am courageous in setting boundaries from the critics, the dream killers, the manipulators, the boundary bullies, the energy vampires, the needy, and those who try to sell me tickets to go on a guilt trip. I release what is not mine to carry. I will not be a bag lady. I will not carry other people's issues I use good boundaries around negative people and negative circumstances that bring this dark, heavy energy. I'll observe it, but I do not have to absorb it. I am breathing and I believe in my worth and possibilities for happiness, peace, and success. I am growing out of a victim mindset. I am learning to honor my voice and my value. I will no longer tolerate people's abuse, control, insecurity, or invalidation of my feelings by coping and walking on eggshells or people-pleasing, which only creates self-betrayal, sadness, sickness, and stress. I honor my intuition, my goals, my gifts, my lifestyle, my purpose, and my sacred relationship with God. I'm learning to understand who I am. I am guarding my heart and my peace of mind without apology. This is Jewel Diamond Taylor, the self-esteem doctor, and I know that maybe you're listening to this because you're recognizing uh, that your spouse, your parents, your children, your friends, your job, or society are beating you down. And you've got to learn to have those boundaries and protect your heart, your peace of mind. You are amazing. And I promise you, if you repeat these positive affirmations, you'll begin to feel so much better. But you got to do the work. Don't let someone sell you tickets to go on a guilt trip. Be sure to visit my websites, jeweldiamondtaylor.com and womenonthegrow.org. Thank you so much for partnering with me uh, with my Women on the Grow 501c3 
a foundation where we help women going through adversity. Thank you for purchasing my books and attending my events, my retreats, and my conferences. I am so grateful that so many of you are sharing my podcast. It means so much to me to have your support. Be blessed, be safe, and stay in the light.